Hi, today we will learn Indonesian language or Bahasa Indonesia about don and without. Don is jangan, without is tanpa. Tanpa. This is jangan. Whenever you see n and g together, it becomes ang like when we have to say ringing the ang there is the ang in jangan ang jangan so it's not jangan and it's not janhan it's not janjan but it's jangan we will start it don't smoke jangan merokok even though smoke is asap Smoke is asap and merokok is smoking. So in Indonesian language or Bahasa Indonesia, if we translate this, it's like don't smoking instead of don't smoke. The smoke itself it's, is asap, but to say don't smoke, we say jangan merokok. Erase this one. Don't make noise. Jangan berisik. Berisik in Indonesian language is noisy. Don't make noise. Jangan berisik. And this is noisy. We don't use the make. We don't use the noise. We use the noisy. Don't worry. Jangan khawatir. This is worry, khawatir. Even though it's K and H, it becomes kha, kha, khawatir. But you will hear it as khawatir. It's like the K is a bit disappear. Some people will say it khawatir. Some people will just say khawatir. If it fast, it will be just heard as khawatir, without the K. Jangan khawatir. Jangan khawatir. Don't forget. Jangan lupa. Forget is lupa. Don't disturb. Jangan mengganggu. Mengganggu is disturb. In this case, we have the ng. After the ng, we have the another g, the g. It becomes meng, and then the g, the g, ga g. In Indonesian language, is g. Meng ga g, mengga mengga. This is g. Mengga, and then ang again. Menggang, and then g again. Gu, menggang gu. I will repeat. Menggang, gang, g ang, g ang, gang, gu. Mengganggu. Don't disturb. Jangan mengganggu. Jangan takut. Don't be afraid. Takut is afraid. And in Indonesian language, we don't use the be. Be is menjadi, but we don't put menjadi here. We just put takut, afraid. Jangan takut. Jangan merokok, jangan berisik, jangan khawatir, jangan lupa, jangan mengganggu. I will repeat. Jangan mengganggu, jangan takut. And then, tanpa, without. Ia, 
In Indonesian language, can be he, can be she. They don't have a particular word for he or she. It's just ia or dia. It can be he, can be she. Pergi, go, goes. Tanpa, without. Meninggalkan, left. Pesan, message. In Indonesian language, we rarely just put any or a if it's not needed. It's just, it's complete already if like this. No need to put a or any before the message. Sometimes you will uh, found a or any here in Indonesian language, but we mostly do without a or any in front of noun. But if it's like more than one, we of course we put like two, three or so. Ia pergi, he or she goes, tanpa, without, meninggalkan, left, pesan, message. As we can see here, ang, mening, galkan, mening, galkan, left. Kemarin, yesterday, ibuku, ibu is mother, ku is from aku, it means I, or, yeah, it's I, uh, in Indonesia sometimes you say saya, as I, aku or saya, but in this case, we use the aku as I. And if you want to say my mother, you just use the ku and put it together, becomes one single word, ibu ku, my mother. Ibu ku is from aku or I. Yesterday, my mother, kemarin, ibu ku, membuat, make, and in this case, mate, but in Indonesian language, we don't have particular verb for today, like for the present time, the past time, and the future times. We use the same verb for it. Uh, how to know if it's in the past or now, at present, or later in the future? It's by the time signal that we use. If, if we use like this one, kemarin, yesterday, so this is make but yesterday of course in english it becomes made in indonesia is make made will make membuat kue cookie tanpa without telur egg kemarin ibuku membuat kue tanpa telur Ia, he or she, ia, memesan, order, secangkir, a cup. In Indonesian language, we have se to make it a something. And it's different from for human, for animal, and for thing or things. And of course, it's also different for tea or coffee. Cangkir. Cangkir is cup. If you want to say a cup, you put se. It's like a. Se. Cangkir. A cup. Kopi. Coffee. You don't have to put off. Coffee, you just put a cup coffee. A cup coffee. So this is cangkir. Se is a. Cangkir is cup. 
for coffee or for tea, you put a cup secangkir, one single word. Secangkir kopi tanpa without gula, sugar. Ia memesan secangkir kopi tanpa gula. Yeah. This uh, uh, something or uh, something you can uh, also look in the previous video because for human and animal and thing or things it's different. So something, so something, and so something just to say a uh, something. Yeah. And in this case we see also ang after that ka, k, kir, secang, kir. <laughs> 